What's up everybody, Bray Thorne coming to you here from CES Media Days. With CES starting tomorrow on the 5th of January, expectations are really high, but what we're seeing here is stuff exclusively for media that we're bringing to you. So we just got out of the AMD keynote here, uh, and there was a ton of really interesting stuff, from adaptive computing technology, going to space, to AI technology for mobile processors. There was a lot of interesting stuff going on, but of course what interests us, and probably you, is what they were doing in the desktop space. And as we expected, they did announce 3D VCast chips for 7000 series Zen 4 Ryzen CPUs. Three were announced, actually. So you have the 7950X3D, 7900X3D, and the 7800X3D. And those are similar to their similarly named chips in core count and similar in frequency as well. In fact, the 7950X3D has the same 5.7 gigahertz max boost clock as the 7950X non-3D, which I guess non-3D is something that we're going to have to start saying again. But either way. Big differences there though, 144 megabytes of cache, and along with that 5.7 gigahertz max boost clock, you're looking at some pretty amazing performance. And plus, that's with the TDP, quote unquote, as the uh, AMD has their own calculation for TDP, uh, going down by 50 watts, down to 120 watts. So, really exciting stuff there, but of course, 7950X, and 7950X3D, not necessarily for everyone. For mostly a gaming PC, you might be thinking that the best option is going to be the 7800X3D with eight cores, 16 threads, and the 104 megabytes of cache. Uh, however, I'm thinking the sweet spot's probably gonna be the 7900X3D because it's only a very small step down from the 7950X3D with only 0.1 gigahertz lower maximum boost clock at 5.6 gigahertz and only four megabytes of cache fewer at 140. Now, of course, we're going to have to see the actual pricing and, of course, independent reviews once those are coming out. So uh, stay tuned for that. I, I, pricing may have been announced. I must have missed it. But um, yeah, it's, it's a very exciting time. We know what a splash of 5800X 3D made. It's going to really be amazing seeing 3 dv cache technology applied to Zen 4 architecture and uh, very exciting stuff and honestly more than I could have hoped for because I was thinking oh they'll probably go max 12. Um, we're looking at a pretty good spread this time. Now of course we did see in the initial 3D vCache announcement that they, they did mention the 5900X3D and that never coalesced. I'm thinking that they're not going to, I'm hoping they don't repeat that in this circumstance and that they actually release the things they say that they want to release. So. I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and stay tuned for more coverage from CES 2023. And we'll see you then. Let's go, nerds.